In 1958, a German U-boat had lay submerged for the past 13 years in the depths of Kattegat Bay, situated in the icy waters between the North and Baltic Seas near Sweden's shores. An unprecedented challenge was about to be undertaken. The mission, to raise the U-boat from her watery grave in one piece. The German submarine, the U-843, was a Type 9C40 used by the German Kriegsmarine from 1942 to 1945. German Type 9C40 submarines were slightly larger than the original Type 9Cs. U-843 had a displacement of 1,144 tons when at the surface and 1,257 tons while submerged. The U-boat had a total length of 76.76 meters or 251 feet 10 inches, a beam of 6.86 meters or 22 feet 6 inches, and a height of 9.60 meters or 31 feet 6 inches. The submarine was powered by two MAN M9 V4046 supercharged four-stroke, nine-cylinder diesel engines producing a total of 4,400 metric horsepower for use while surfaced, two Siemens Schucker 2 GU34534 double-acting electric motors producing a total of 1,000 shaft horsepower for use while submerged. She had two shafts and two 1.92 meter or six feet propellers. The boat was capable of operating at depths of up to 230 meters or 750 feet. The submarine had a maximum surface speed of 18.3 knots and a maximum submerged speed of 7.3 knots. When submerged, the boat could operate for 63 nautical miles at four knots. When surfaced, she could travel 13,850 nautical miles at 10 knots. U-843 was fitted with six 53.3 centimeters torpedo tubes, four fitted at the bow and two at the stern, 22 torpedoes, one 10.5 centimeter SKC-32 naval gun, 180 rounds, and a 3.7 centimeter SKC-30, as well as a two centimeter C-30 anti-aircraft gun. The boat had a complement of 48 men, Laid down on the 21st of April 1942 at Deschimag AG Wieser Yard in Bremen, it was launched on the 15th of December 1942 and commissioned on the 24th of March 1943, helmed by Captain Lieutenant Oscar Herwartz. After Baltic Sea training with the 4th U-Boat Flotilla, U-843 was reassigned to the 2nd U-Boat Flotilla for frontline duty on the 1st of November 1943 and later to the 33rd U-Boat Flotilla on the 1st of October 1944. U-843 set sail from Kiel on the 7th of October 1943, docking at Trondheim, Norway on the 12th. It began its first war patrol on the 15th of October, venturing into the northern Atlantic. Despite its efforts, it reported no victories and eventually docked at Lorient, France on the 15th of December after a 62-day mission. Departing Lorient on the 19th of February 1944 for the Indian Ocean, U-843 torpedoed the British merchant ship Nebraska, an 8,263 gross registered tons vessel, on the 8th of April southwest of Ascension Island. Only two crew perished, while the others, including the master, 55 crew, eight gunners, and two stowaways, were saved. Captain Oscar Herwartz surfaced the U-843, aiding the Nebraska's lifeboats by providing navigation charts. Two boats later landed near Recife, and a third was rescued by a British vessel after weeks at sea. On the 10th of April, a B-24 bomber from the United States Navy's VB-107 squadron targeted the U-843, damaging its aft torpedo launchers. As a result, the U-boat diverted from its Cape Town mission and proceeded into the Indian Ocean. After 114 days at sea, U-843 docked at Batavia in the Japanese-occupied Dutch East Indies on the 11th of June. It then traveled to Singapore between 13 and the 15th of June, stationed there until the 1st of November before journeying back to Batavia. Leaving Batavia on the 10th of December 1944, U-843 carried zinc cargo, though a letter from Oscar Herwart suggested it was Wolfram. On the evening of the 17th of December, they received fuel from U-181. The U-boat subsequently navigated across the Indian Ocean, rounded the Cape, traversed the Atlantic, and finally anchored in Bergen, Norway on the 3rd of April, 1945. 
While near Gothenburg in the Kattegat, Sweden, U-843 came under fire from rockets launched by an RAF-235 squadron de Havilland DH-98 Mosquito. Although the inflicted damage was minor, Kapitan Lieutenant Hervorts went topside to oversee repairs. Unexpectedly, the vessel capsized and descended, leaving only 13 of the 58 crew members alive. They would be 45 of the 28,000 German U-boat sailors to lose their life during the Second World War, and one of the 785 U-boats destroyed. A diver surprisingly uncovered the wreckage in 1947. It was raised in 1958 and relocated to Moss, Norway, for salvaging valuable materials like tungsten in its structure, natural rubber, and a ton of opium. Hervorts, having survived the sinking, contributed to the retrieval process. The remnants were later dismantled in Gothenburg. While the submarine's intrinsic value was low, its cargo on the other hand was absolutely precious. It transported items from Batavia, modern-day Jakarta, Indonesia, like rubber, tin, molybdenum, and opium. The salvage operation cost about 20,000 pounds, but the cargo was valued at 80,000 pounds, justifying the venture. The recovery spanned three weeks. Submarines, central to naval warfare during the Second World War, have earlier origins dating to the mid-1800s. Presently, they're pivotal in global naval forces, but the submerged military vessel idea first emerged in Germany. In 1850, Wilhelm Bauer, a former German cavalryman and engineer, crafted the inaugural submarine. Facing a blockade by Denmark, Germany saw potential in Bauer's Brandtacher, meaning fire diver, to address the challenge. Navy officials saw potential in Bauer's concept and provided him with funds for a full-scale prototype. However, the allocated budget fell short of Bauer's ideal specifications, leading to some compromises in its construction. Possibly due to these compromises, the Brandtacher, when tested in Kiel Harbor, plunged and settled at the bottom. Bauer narrowly escaped the incident, and the endeavor was temporarily set aside. Decades later, during the First World War, the profound impact of submarine technology came to the fore. Germany constructed a formidable U-boat fleet launching a relentless assault against Great Britain, primarily targeting their commercial and trading vessels. The aim was to sever Britain's supply chains, forcing them into submission. This strategy took a turn for the worse when Germany sank three American ships with torpedoes. This provocation directly prompted the United States to join the war. With the Allies' reinforced strength, they rapidly advanced across Europe, overpowering the German Kaiser's troops and concluding the conflict. Yet, just a mere 21 years afterward, the Second World War erupted in 1939, marking another chapter in submarine warfare. By then, several countries had adopted and innovated upon the original German design, making U-boat confrontations even more lethal than before. During the Second World War, U-boats would go on to sink around 3,000 Allied ships, totaling over 14 million tons. Yet being in a U-boat is what would end up being the most lethal place to be. Out of 1,162 U-boats built by Germany during the Second World War, 67.5% would be destroyed. Of the 40,900 men recruited into the U-boat service, 68.5% wouldn't live to see the end of the war with another 12% being taken prisoner by the Allies. While they wreaked havoc on Allied shipping and haunted the dreams of merchant sailors, the true terror beneath the waves actually lay in crewing one of those metal beasts. Though their motivations for service may have been wrong, their courage and bravery was not.